Skittles. Good morning, BHS, and welcome back to another episode of BHS TV. I'm Olivia Elias. And I'm Hannah Faulkner. We hope you had a great long weekend. We've got an exciting episode for you all today, so let's jump right into it. It's January 22nd, and you're watching BHS TV. Let's kick things off today by seeing just how much our fellow students know about BHS. Let's send it over to Josh Furman for the very first edition of BHS Trivia. Hey BHS, I'm Josh Furman and today we're going to be playing BHS Trivia. I'm with Adam Pritchett, Michael Brown, Nathan Bolt, Arian, Michael Steeper, John. How many students go to Barrington? Uh, 750. Mm. Oh. 1,500. Mm. 3,600. Correct. What year did President John F. Kennedy visit the school? 1965. 1966. He visited the school in 1960. What current elementary school was Barrington High School originally located at? Is it like Rosin? Rosin? Uh, Grove. Uh, countryside? No. Huff? Yeah, that's correct. All right, sweet. Thanks for playing, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new about Barrington. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Josh. Watching that made me realize just how little I know about our school. Speaking of other things you may not know about BHS, let's check out a segment about the AP Students Association. Hey, BHS. It's Gracie Stagnito. Today, I'm here to learn more about the AP Student Association. Let's go check it out. So, today, I'm here with... Magna Cocalera. What is a PSA? So the AP Student Association is basically a program that focuses on students mentoring other students with their AP classes. Um, we specialize with students that are taking AP classes for the first time and we recruit mentors and have them mentor other students that need help with their classes. How do you become a mentor? So there's an application. You can either email me at mkokkalera at bsd220.org or you can email uh, Dr. Idrizi at her email nidrizi -I at barrington220.org and we can send you the application. Or if you go to activities, the club's webpage, our name, APSA, is listed under there and you can find the application there as well. When and where can you come to get help from other students? So we operate mostly every Thursday. Uh, we're in the library, the second quiet study room. You can drop in for help if you need help with your AP classes. We're there before school, fourth, fifth, and sixth period, and after school. And we also do a pairing system where we pair uh, mentors with mentees one-on-one, -on -one and they can meet on their own time during any day of the school week. Why should others join the club? I think it's a really re rewarding experience both ways. If you join the club as a mentee, you learn a lot from people that have already taken the class and they're your age, so it's really, it's like a comfortable experience for you to learn um, things that you don't know from peers of your own age. And also if you're a mentor, it's really rewarding because you can learn and reinforce topics that you've already learned and it, it's fun. So like you can help other people and see them grow and it's a really rewarding experience in total. Thanks, Magna, for teaching us so much about your wonderful club. Make sure to stop on by if you need help with your AP classes, and make sure to fill out the application to become a mentor. I'm Gracie Stagnito, and back to the studio. Thanks, Gracie, for giving us info on this very helpful program here at Barrington High School. Moving on, let's get some info on the sports here at Barrington High School. From Sports Desk host, Riley Trapp. Good morning, BHS, and welcome back to another edition of Barrington Sports Desk. As always, I'm your host, Riley Trapp. Today on the show, we'll see how some teams did over this past long weekend and preview some upcoming matchups. It's January 22nd, and you're watching Barrington Sports Desk. First up is boys basketball, who beat Dundee Crown this past Sunday by a score of 51 to 35. Their next game is scheduled for tomorrow at home against Hoffman Estates at 7:30. Next up is girls basketball, who beat St. Charles East by a score of 57 to 39 this past Sunday. Their next game is scheduled for Friday at Palatine at 7:30. Next up is the bowling team, who play today at 4 p.m. They will face Hoffman Estates. Also, congratulations to Emily O'Brien, who bowled a perfect game. That's 10 frames of only strikes for a total score of 300. 
Next is the gymnastics team will continue their undefeated season by facing Fremd and Wheeling today at 6 p.m. Next is the cheer team will participate in conference today and prospect at 640, so good luck to them. They also have a competition this Saturday at Fremd. Next is Bronco Wrestling, who won the MSL West Division by beating Schaumburg by a score of 43-16, improving their nearly perfect record to 21-1 on the year. Also, congratulations to Shreya and the rest of the chess team on winning the conference tournament this past weekend. Also last week, Bronco Swimming and Diving absolutely blew Prospect out of the water, see what I did there, by a score of 130-56 to on senior night. So congratulations to the Broncos and especially to the seniors. Also, Dan Emery signed his National Letter of Intent to swim at UW-Whitewater next year, so congratulations to him. Before we go, the dance team also won conference last week and will be continuing their season for sectionals this Saturday in DeKalb. That's all I got for you today, BHS. As always, I'll see you next week. Thanks for the update, Riley. What's the best you've ever gotten in bowling? Maybe a turkey in Wii Sports? Well, to end the show, let's send it over to Dee Dee to get you in the know. What's up, Barrington? I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and it's time to get you in the know. The Special Olympics basketball game is on this Friday, January 24th at 6.30 p.m. at home. Come out and show your support. The theme will be USA. After the Special Olympics basketball game, make sure to go to the fifth quarter event, hosted right in the gym. There will be a taco truck, spike ball, and basketball, all free with admissions. On Thursday, BHS will host a voter registration drive in the Commons all day. If you'll be 18 by November 3rd, 2020, you can register with just a driver's license and ID. It only takes one time, two IDs, and three minutes. Do your part and make your voice heard. The four BHS Robotics teams will be competing in the first Tech Challenge League Championship this Saturday, February 21st, at McHenry Community College. More than 40 BHS students have been working on designing, building, and operating their team's robots since the beginning of the school year. Teams and can qualify at this event for the state championship to be held later in February. Wish them luck as they represent the best of Barrington High School in this important competition. Online registration for BHS Summer Academics and BHS Summer Camps is now available. The open registration period for BHS Summer Academics will close on February 21st. Remaining seats will then reopen on March 16th on a first-come, first-served basis. BHS Summer Camps registration will remain open until the start of each camp. Please see www.barrington220.org slash summer school for more information and to register. That's all for this week, Barrington. I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and now you're in the know. That's all we have for this week, Barrington. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Olivia Elias. And I'm Hannah Faulkner, wishing everyone at BHS a great rest of your week.